Interactive Museum Lunarium is one of the two planetarium's museums. One can hardly call it a museum, in fact, because it is not a usual collection of exhibits, but a place of face-to-face -face encounter with the huge universe in all its astronomical and physical diversity. Lunarium consists of 90 exhibits that are placed on the 4,000 square meters of floors. And on that great premises there is not a single warning, please do not touch. Instead, there is a great quantity of buttons, handles and levers that visitors not only may touch, but are requested to do so. In that way, which is more like playing an interesting game, the museum's visitors, whatever their age, study the laws of the physics and mysteries of the universe. That is why on the premises of the interactive museum, Lunarium, every single moment of time something falls or flies into the air, sways or swirls, turns around, sparkles or creates optical illusions. All the exhibits here are made to order. To make this collection, planetarium staff has traveled the length and breadth of half the world. An item of special pride is the 1000 kilo heavy half sphere of the Moon, a precise copy of the visible part of our natural satellite. Of course, it is 700,000 times less than the origin. It is based on the most up-to-date digital model of the Moon. Each of Lunarium's two levels has some inimitable peculiarity. For example, exhibits of the section Understanding the Space is styled like a space station. Moving from one module to another, we do some work in Lunar Laboratory, get acquainted with the history of the Big Bang and even make a journey into the infinity. And wherever we find ourselves, on the Moon, on Mars or in any other place of the universe, we'll be carrying out lots and lots of experiments. We will make observations using different types of telescopes, learn what properties of vacuum are, watch objects being weightless, save a planet from asteroids, send a message to extraterrestrials and have a hand in experimenting with the appearance of extraterrestrial inhabiting planets with different environments. Launching a missile, an air or a hydrogen one, will demand some hard work too but our efforts are sure to be gratified. Only 14 seconds and the missile is airborne in the most spectacular way. No less spectacular looks the plasma tower. Visitors always are crowding around it. Plasma is the fourth, the most widespread, state of matter in the universe. The other three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas, make only about 1% of the material objects in the universe. For example, our Sun may be seen as a gigantic clot of hot plasma. Stars, nebulas and galaxies are made of plasma. Even space between them is filled with plasma. There is one quite a unique exhibit on display, the Wilson Chamber. We live in space that is pierced by invisible floors of charged particles that come from the depth of the universe. In the Wilson Chamber, we see their tracks. This happens because oversaturated vapor condenses into the tiniest drops of liquid along the paths of motion of these high-energy elementary particles that make natural radiation on the surface of the Earth and in the atmosphere. That was space physics. 
Nearby, in the lower level of the Lunarium Museum, there are quite earthly experiments in store for us. Section Astronomy and Physics represents the amazing world of the sciences. Each and every exhibit here is a real scientific laboratory. And each and every visitor is a gifted researcher. Nobody ever found this place boring. The most complicated manifestations of the laws of nature here at Lunarium look like fairy tale magic. Don't be shy. Try yourself at composing some galactic music for the Star Ball. And after winning the contest of jumping on the moon, learn what your weight is on each of the planets of the solar system. It will be the greatest on Jupiter and the smallest on Pluto. Some exhibits, like Telluri, for example, may provoke not only curiosity, but quite a number of questions. That is why each of the exhibits in the museum is provided with a colorful player card with explanations. And if your research comes to a deadlock, don't be upset. Sympathetic Lunarium Museum guides will explain to you the purpose and method of operation of all the devices. One of the most interesting experiments is a Foucault pendulum. It serves to prove experimentally that the Earth rotates. It is known that a pendulum, if motioned from the equilibrium position, will swing in one and the same plane till it stops. This property of the pendulum was used to prove that our planet rotates around its own axis by Jean-Bernard Leon Foucault. The first public demonstration of his experiment took place in the middle of the 19th century in one of the highest buildings of Paris, the Pantheon. Our demonstration repeats that experiment exactly. A small figurine is placed on the circle scale under the pendulum in such a way that the swinging pendulum wouldn't touch it. To avoid unwanted sideway motion, we launch the pendulum by means of burning the thread. Then for some minutes we observe the swinging plane of the pendulum rotate, getting closer and closer to the Lego figurine, till at last the pendulum knocks the figurine down. But the swinging plane of the pendulum stays unchanged in space. That means that it was the Earth that had rotated a little bit around its axis, together with the Earth, the spectators, and the floor under their feet, had moved too. So had the toll that was knocked down. Our experiment was successful. We have proved that our Earth rotates around its axis. One of the most popular exhibits is the Plasma Bowl. If you would dare put your hand close to the sphere, you're sure to see a discharge localized near the place where you touched it. The beautiful plasma flows going through the sphere are essentially artificial lightnings, similar to those we see during a storm. In the center of the glass sphere, there is an electrode ellipse with 10,000 volt. Because of that high voltage, there happens puncture of the dielectric medium, which we see as intricate plasma threads. And this device is called cloud generator. This model shows how real clouds are formed in real atmosphere. 
the rubber membrane is pressed abruptly and a little cloud of vapor flies out of the round opening. The next exhibit demonstrates a regeneration mechanism of a whirlwind, a tornado that comes to life inside a storm cumulonimbus cloud. These violently rotating columns of air occur when atmospheric conditions are very unstable, when the air in the lower layers is very warm and humid, and in the upper layers it is dry and cold. Here we have one more gigantic vortex. This exhibit shows what happens to a celestial body when it gets into a black hole. Nothing can withstand its power, even light. Black hole is a peculiar region of space where gravitation becomes so great that even rays of light cannot escape it. You can spend a whole day in the interactive museum. It offers a real feast for lively imagination and inquisitive mind. A magical kaleidoscope of interesting experiments and unforgettable discoveries. It is when in Lunarium that you understand clearly that true knowledge indeed gets born from experiments and observations. <laughs>